Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome your faces to another Little Nightmares 2 theory video. Now judging from the size of the script, I don't think this is going to be a full 10 minute video, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. But anyway, enjoy this kind of bite sized theory if you will, because today I want to talk about and solely focus on the doctor and dive into the hospital surgery and the dark things that we witness in there. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink of your preference. Spoilers are ahead, so be warned. And let's get in to this little fairy video. So, when we enter the doctor's hospital, immediately we are hit with grim sights of what the doctor has left behind of his fellow patients. Blood smears on the walls and floor. Leftover patients he hasn't finished, just left in the corridors. Some even still hanging from their beds, mummified waiting for his return for completion. Even subtle hints of patience trying to keep him or his creations out to save themselves, or the doctor keeping them trapped in, of course. The first room we see with evidence the doctor has been there recently is the x-ray room. Notice how the ceiling has a jigsaw of pieces missing where we know the Doctor makes this happen by using this to grapple as he crawls along the ceiling. Also a side note here is that the Doctor doesn't necessarily rely on those jigsaw pieces. He can crawl along the ceiling without any of that aid, but it's a visual representation of hinting where he has been. Also, this part of the hospital is the first we have seen to have consistent electric sources. When we enter this room, we are filled with sights of x-rays. Most of them don't look out of the ordinary, apart from the MRI scan of the brain. There's one on the wall, and then there's one on the floor. There's no difference in those two scans, though. I have double-checked. When we compare this to a normal brain scan, we can see that this one is actually abnormal, with all the dark spots counted as abnormal tissue. When further researching this, we can see that one of the empty parts of the brain actually looks like the chordate nucleus. This area of the brain, chordate nucleus, contributes importantly to body and limb posture and the speed and accuracy of directing movements along with affecting intelligence and a few other important parts. One to mention is impulsive movement. And these symptoms happily collide with our patients. So it looks like the doctor has either been removing or tampering with these parts of the patients, thus making them into some type of brainless, aimless enemies that we just see in Little Nightmares. It's rather fitting that Bandai describe him as an artist, as he seems to create what he desires of each of his patients. It's safe to assume, at this point, they are no longer who they were when they seeked help from the Doctor. Even though he is the Doctor, he seems to also, oddly, be an inventor. We see sketches of what he wants to create throughout the entire chapter, and has succeeded in doing so. Even the masks we see of characters we know. What's even more scary is when we now look at Little Nightmare's characters, we have to question ourselves, did the Doctor have a hand in making them? Or is he just trying to recreate these monstrosities as another way to survive the world of Little Nightmares? To the room next to it, we see a child waiting room. What's dark and interesting about this room is the children were hiding things in the toys. Not only do we find the key we need in a stuffed toy here, but it seems the children also were hiding weapons in desperation of escape. There seems to be as if there was a few children that have passed through this room. But there's no remnants of them being here apart from obviously their drawings on the walls and toys armed with weapons. So, that leads one to believe. Did all of the children that appear in this waiting room meet the same fate as the girl with the bloody nose from the Little Nightmares digital comics? If we look at the drawings on the wall, you can see a picture which actually resembles one of the children in the comics. Could this be 
the reason this child wears a sheet over their head. I wonder if the child managed to escape the clutches of the doctor once, but never left the same as so many people and creatures in Little Nightmares do. One of the darkest moments in this chapter is the mysterious character we see the doctor keeping alive. This being the only one we see of all the patients breathing. You can hear the ventilator working away as you enter the room and the heartbeat monitor on to tell us that this patient is alive with working lungs and a working heart. Unfortunately, we need to turn that off and turn off the ventilator in order to progress through the chapter. And thus, when this happens, the doctor frantically bursts into the room trying to save his one breathing patient. If we purposely fail after we get the fuse and put it in the door, we can actually go back into this room to see if the doctor managed to save the patient that we interrupted. Sadly, it seems he was unsuccessful. There is now no breathing, nor no heartbeat. It's flatlined. The interesting thing about this is even when we turn off the machine, we can actually see the patient start to struggle, which is evidence that they're being kept alive or and feel pain. Why was he keeping one patient alive? He seems not to really care about other patients that he's trying to treat, or he's just treating them as inventions and figuring out what goes where and, oh, I fancy like the head can go on the shoulder today. But could this be someone the doctor actually cared about or has relations to. It seems a reoccurring theme with some enemies in Little Nightmares 2. They seem to have a part of them that still cares about something or someone. Yet again, reiterating that not everyone in Little Nightmares is just black and white evil. Everyone has a struggle. Everyone is trying to survive. In Pale City, is no exception but with that being said ladies and gentlemen i think that is some of the creepier stuff about the hospital and the doctor that i wanted to share with you all in a partly small theory video let me know what you think in the comments below make sure to hit subscribe if you're enjoying the little nightmares content and want more i just want to take this quick moment to give a members of the channel a quick thank you and i massively appreciate the extra support it really helps and it really goes a long way to growing the channel and getting more theories out there so with that being said though ladies and gentlemen thank you ever so much for watching this video i really appreciate it remember if you liked and enjoyed it make sure to hit like and subscribe for more content let me know what you think in the comments below of what you think of this video and what you think the worst thing and scariest thing about the doctor is now this isn't going to be the last video about the doctor in the hospital believe me but with that being said i wish you the best morning day or night wherever you are in the world stay safe and i will see you all in the next theory video